Hey everybody, Vic Kristoff here with Phone Arena, coming at you from my home as we all stay inside to slow down the coronavirus pandemic. And we at Phone Arena love the best and greatest phones that push the boundaries with incredible new cameras, super high refresh rates and a bunch of great innovation. But in these tough times ahead, we also understand that not everybody will be able to afford the very best phone out there. So that's why we have compiled a list of what are our favorite phones for those of you who need to get a phone right now, a phone that they will love without having to spend a thousand or more dollars on it. Let's get started with the best phone deals around and also the most underrated phones right now in 2020. And we kick it off with one of the best camera phones that you can get, the Google Pixel 3 XL. Google's finest phone last year is this year's amazing deal. At the moment of shooting this, you can get this phone at the price of just $450, which is exactly half of its original price. The Pixel 3 XL is a big phone with a good looking AMOLED screen, but the reason to get it is the clean software that runs incredibly fast and the updates that it is first in line to receive over the next two years. And of course, that camera can take just stunning photos. Take a look at the few shots we captured on it and see for yourself. The second great deal that we recommend is the Apple iPhone XR, which now costs $600. The only major thing that you would be missing compared to the newer iPhone 11 is that ultra wide angle camera. And for all else, the iPhone XR is pretty much the same. It runs on iOS, so you can use it with the Apple Watch and other gadgets, the AirPods, for example. It runs very smoothly, it's got excellent battery life, and the camera performance is great too. So definitely consider it. Next on our list is another phone that is an absolute steal and that I have personally used for a couple of months and regretted having to switch away from it. That phone is the OnePlus 7T, currently sold at just $500. This phone can do it all. It's the only one in this list that features a 90Hz refresh rate screen and thanks to that it has those smooth moves that you don't quite get on the other options on the other phones. Battery life is solid, the screen quality is great and what I personally love about this phone is just how compact and easy it is to use with just one hand. And did we mention that super cool mute switch? Now the only downside here is the camera that is not quite great but if you don't absolutely insist on that, you will love the OnePlus 7T and it's a great value for the money too. Next we have the big guns from the big boys. These are not the latest phones that cost a fortune though. First, we recommend you definitely consider the Samsung Galaxy S10. Yes, last year's S10. It costs merely $600 at the moment and it's a device that will not disappoint. It's got probably the highest quality display of all phones in this list. It's got a great camera and battery life is above average too. And if you want a slightly bigger phone, the Galaxy S10 Plus with a price of $700 is another outstanding option. Last on our list, we have another one for the Apple squad and that's the iPhone XS Max. This is the phone that I have been using personally in the past couple of weeks as my daily driver throughout these coronavirus quarantine times and I love it. If you go with the XS Max over the newer iPhone 11 Pro Max, you'll save quite a lot. Now the XS Max is available as a refurbished unit only over at Apple for $800 and you can find it in mint condition websites like Swappa for a lot less than that. First, it's got a great camera, and that's important. The iOS platform also has multiple years of updates, yet the beautiful AMOLED screen and Face ID also works great. And these are the phones that we think often go under the radar these days, but don't really deserve to. These are excellent devices, now sold for reasonable prices. And let's face it, spending $1400 on a brand new phone in these troubled times might not be the most reasonable thing to do. So what do you think about them? Which of these devices would you go for? Let me know in the comments and meanwhile, stay smart. Protect yourself and the people around you. We we'll wish you all to be well and healthy. My name is Vic, this is Phone Arena and I will see you in the next one.